Hey guys, this is Gianmarco, and I'm here with the Effort Day Training Team. And this video is going to show you how to make a expert advisor using the generate option. So first thing you gotta do is gonna open up the meta editor, and once you're there, you're gonna click on the button in the top left corner that says new. And this is gonna prompt the wizard. And once you're there, it, there's gonna be an option that says expert advisor generate, and you're gonna click that and press next. Now you're gonna give your uh, wiz, uh, expert advisor a name. I'm just gonna put generate test and uh, click next. Now you can add a bunch of signal properties to your expert advisor in this menu, and it'll be already done and ready to go. So we can click add, and you can go here and see the different uh, types of signals you can and indicators you can choose from. So you have a accelerator oscillator, adaptive moving average, awesome oscillator, and so on. You can go through each one of these and pick the one you like for yourself. Uh, we'll pick the MACD, simple enough. And here you can see that uh, gives you some options. First is a symbol, so you can use the current. It basically just says, hey, it's going to use the current symbol that your expert advisor is using. And the time frame current, again, uh, it's going to be the current time frame. Now, if you want to be uh, specifying a specific one, you can have it here. So um, you can do a minutes, hours, days, and stuff like that. This is useful when you want to calculate something on the, the daily chart when your rest of your algorithm is using the minute. And then same thing, you want to calculate something for a different currency, but you want to um, do your trades on another. So you can just be comparing the values and stuff like that. So that's why you, want, you can specify using a different one. But here you're going to have your uh, parameters that the MACD uses to be already automatically set for you. Um, it's going to have all the correct uh, types of data and inputs. Now the things you might want to change are the the values that it uses. So it can apply on a different close price or a different value here. You can just change it real quick, double click it, and uh, use whatever value you want. But I'm gonna leave it at the default. So you click okay, and it's gonna show up here. Now, if you wanna add another uh, indicator, you can do that. So you just go here and press another one. So we'll do um, the bull's power. It'll give you the parameters it needs for that. Just click okay and it will show up here too. So once you click next, you can go to the next option. So here you're gonna have uh, the trailing properties of the expert advisor. So the type of uh, stop losses and stuff that you wanna use. You wanna use a trailing stop? Do you not want to? Do you wanna have it based on fixed stop level? Do you wanna have it based on a moving average or parabolic SAR? So we will choose having it uh, based on moving average, and it gives you some parameters that it uses, simple enough, and click next. Now we're gonna have some uh, money management properties, and it's gonna specify how our algorithm will trade and how much it will buy and sell and whatnot. So you can be trading with a fixed algorithm, a fixed volume, uh, a fixed margin, a fixed a risk, uh, trading with minimal allowed trade volume, and trading with optimized trade volume. So all this depends on the algorithm you're trying to use and what's your risk level. So how and how much you're trying to use of your balance. You know, if you have a certain balance you want to keep up, you can maybe fix your margin, and so on. So or if you're trying to keep a certain risk level down, you can uh, fix it to a certain risk tolerance. But we'll keep it the the default of volume. Now you click finish, and it's gonna fill out the page with uh, already made code that's ready to be used. You can run it and it'll have a algorithm already, expert advisor already made. Probably won't be optimal and you wanna fix it yourself to cater your needs, but it's already there. And you can start from there rather than start from scratch. So yeah, here we go.